There's an old saying that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Our federal government is insane on the issue of immigration. They continue to do nothing. For decades, they've done absolutely nothing. And on a regular basis, they expect a different result. In Utah, the federal government has said to our state, Utah, you can do nothing about illegal immigration, and we, the federal government, refuse to do anything about illegal immigration. In my view, the federal government has just dropped the ball on this. It's their responsibility to fix the problem, and because they haven't, states need to do what Utah has done. 116 requires that an individual who's violated our immigration laws agree to pay a $2,500 penalty if their first step in our country was as an illegal alien. Under 1325 of the federal code, the penalty is not less than $50, not more than $250. Our penalty is 10 times the maximum federal penalty for being an illegal immigrant for trespassing. The first violation is a $100 penalty. That's educational. For an employer who, who was uh, unaware of the requirements, $100 per employee. The second violation is $500 per employee. The third violation uh, will result in the suspension or the revocation of the business or professional license for one year. House Bill 116 is the toughest enforcement bill in the country. The toughest enforcement bill in the country. Why is it a tough enforcement bill? Because if you commit a crime in the state of Utah, number one, we have the ability to find you because you're in a database, and number two, we actually have the ability to deport you out of our state. No other state provides for that. One of the biggest threats to our community from illegal immigration is identity theft. As a lawyer, as a mother, I want a way to protect our children, my children, from that crime. You know, I'm a mom of a very large family and I have children from eight different countries. I am concerned about people who would steal their identities and identity theft is contained within HB 116. In fact, it's the only bill that the Utah legislature passed in 2011 that addresses identity theft in a strong fashion. All the money that comes from these fines goes into a fund and it funds two things. The first thing it funds is a task force dedicated to ferret out identity theft in this state. And there is a task force already formed who's doing so. And now it's going to get funded through House Bill 116. The second thing it does is it provides restitution for the victims of identity theft. If you've been taken advantage of, suddenly there is restitution that can be provided through the fines in this bill. They have to do a background check. So you get all the things, fingerprints, um, facial rec recognition, you go through checks with the state uh, database, with federal databases, in some cases international databases. They, you, you check the social security numbers they use, you check the other t types of identification they use. If they have done anything illegally, it will be discovered in that background check. The federal government has mandated that we, as Utah citizens, pay for entitlements for illegal immigrants. We want them to pay their own way. Maybe the Legisl National Congress will take a look at this because it provides an option for the people that are already here to be able to contribute to the society. I believe in a uh, supreme creator who is uh, concerned with the well-being of everybody on this earth. And I think where he has given us many advantages and many opportunities that we in turn have a responsibility uh, to help our brothers and sisters who do not have the same um, benefits in life that we do. And uh, everything that we can do in this life to help others, uh, I, I think we should do. And I think the parable of the uh, Good Samaritan, uh, quite frankly, is, uh, is the example that we can look back to. Some of these people um, don't really have a home anywhere else. Some of them were brought here as babies in arms or as small children. They didn't make the decision to come here. I think it's inhuman to talk about sending them back to their country of origin when they don't recognize anyone or any place there. 
the rhetoric of it's a simple answer, what don't you understand about illegal, uh, those kinds of, that kind of rhetoric goes nowhere. House Bill 116 is a, is a, a good start to find a comprehensive solution to this problem is it doesn't provide citizenship. It doesn't give a pathway to citizenship. And so it's really a misnomer to say that this is a pathway or, or uh, this is amnesty because it doesn't address citizenship at all. And, and indeed, that is the, the purview of the federal government as per the Constitution. Because it requires registration, there are penalties and fines, there's enforcement that can be done. Whereas, you know, at the current situation, the feds aren't enforcing anything, so there's a de facto amnesty policy. But it does provide an opportunity for people to support their families, to contribute to society, to be here uh, under uh, conditions where they are. Uh, we have an understanding of who's here and what they are doing, and they can provide, uh, they can contribute to our society. They can raise their children uh, without fear and um, provide a wonderful benefit to our community. The, the idea that we could round them all up, arrest them all, forcibly deport all of these people is totally impractical, totally unreasonable, and contrary to the way our society would work under the circumstances. It enables Utah to be a, um, an example for the entire nation on the way that uh, immigration should be treated. I have fought my whole entire life for conservative values and principles. That is why I'm a Republican. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a conservative because I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican because I'm a conservative. House Bill 116 is the most conservative approach to immigration that we've seen in this country in 20 years. You know, until the federal government takes this bull by the horns and does something, solutions like Utah's come up with 116 are about as good as we're going to get. We're finding a way so that people can come out of the shadows, work legally, pay taxes, and contribute. That's what we need. Is it the silver bullet that will fix the problem? No. That's what the federal government needs to do. But until the feds take the problem on head-on, states should be looking at things like 116 to solve the problem.